welcome to the biology class in this video we are going to see the last part of biozoology unit 1 we will study the tools for study of taxonomy taxonomy includes identification of organisms and understand the similarities and differences among organisms for this purpose some tools are used these tools are called as taxonomic tools procedures and stored information that is useful in identification and classification of organisms are called as taxonomic aids taxonomic aids are procedures are stored information these informations are used for identifying and classifying the organisms for plant taxonomy different kinds of tools are used and animal taxonomy other types of tools are used herbarium and botanical gardens are used as tools for classifying plants museum taxonomical keys and zoological and marine parks are zoological tools these are classical taxonomical tools they are traditional tools first let us see the classical taxonomic tools one by one taxonomic key is a traditional tool taxonomic key is used by the biologist for identifying unknown organism a key is constructed for the purpose of identifying organism the key provides series of choices look at this picture the key shows series of choices we have to select one choice and the choice will inform us what we have to select next if we carefully select the choices in a step by step manner finally we will identify the specimen we will identify the specimen comes under which species in this way taxonomic keys are useful in identifying unknown organisms museums are areas where specimens are preserved it includes living and extinct specimens even the museums contain the specimens of extinct animals like dinosaurs these specimens are used to understand the relationship among organisms zoological parks are protected areas here we can study the food habit of animals and the behavior of animals marine parks are protected areas here marine animals are maintained molecular taxonomical tools development was due to advancement in technology and these tools are very accurate and authenticity is more when compared to traditional taxonomical tools the molecular taxonomical tools are more accurate and authenticity is more the molecular taxonomical tools were developed due to technological technological advancement dna barcoding is a molecular taxonomical tool in this tool short dna from gene or genes are used for identifying a species generally gene from mitochondrial dna is taken for dna barcoding this is used for the purpose of identifying a species dna hybridization is a molecular technique in which two single stranded dna of different sources are allowed to combine and form a double helix when the two dna are similar or when the two dna show more similarities they will combine well and form a double helix when they are less similar they do not combine well 
This technique is used to measure the degree of genetic similarity between pools of DNA sequences. Genetic similarities between collection of DNAs can be achieved by DNA hybridization method. DNA fingerprinting is a molecular technique. In this technique, DNA from different sources are compared. Like our fingerprint, a particular part of DNA is unique to an individual. So it is used for identifying an individual from a sample of DNA by looking at unique patterns in their DNA. Like fingerprint, a particular part of DNA is unique to an individual. So identifying an individual from a sample of DNA that is group of DNA by looking at unique pattern in their DNA is done. For example, this is plant A. We have collection of seeds. The seeds have DNA. We have to find out whether the collection of seeds contain seed from the plant A. For that the DNA fingerprinting technique is used. Restriction fragment length polymorphism analysis. Restriction enzymes are enzymes produced by bacterial cells. These restriction enzymes cut the DNA at a particular place. Variation in the DNA sequence recognized by restriction enzymes are observed. A particular restriction enzyme cuts the DNA at the action site. A restriction enzyme recognizes a particular DNA sequence. That is observed. If the restriction enzyme recognizes the sequence, the DNA will be cut. So length will be changed. If the restriction enzyme does not recognize the DNA sequence, the DNA will not be cut. This approach detects differences in the DNA fragment length due to the presence or absence of restriction enzyme site. Restriction enzymes of particular type will cut the DNA of particular species. It will not cut another. So there will be different in the length. By means of analyzing the length, species is analyzed. PCR technique is used to get multiple copies of a small DNA in a short period of time. It is called as polymerization chain reaction. Here genes are amplified. A portion of gene is multiplied several times in a short period of time for the purpose of taxonomical studies. Some of the taxonomical tools are called as automated species identification tools. These tools can be handled by people who do not have more studies or more knowledge about taxonomy. It consists of cyber tools, example Alice, Daisy, Abyss, Spider, Drawing, etc. Alice is automated leaf hopper identification system. This is mainly used for identifying invertebrate species. Daisy is also automated identification tool. Spida space is identified automatically. This tool is used for identifying spiders, wasp and bee wing characters. Drawing honey bee wing identification. Drawing tool is used to identify the pattern of honey bee wings. Neo taxonomical tools. These tools are based on electron microscopy images to study the molecular structures of cell organelles. Molecular structures of cell organelles of 
related species is studied by using electron microscopy ethology of taxonomical tools it is based on behavior of the organisms for example sound of birds bioluminescence bioluminescence is nothing but the light emitted by organisms e taxonomic resource enotaxa enotaxa means integrated open taxonomic access it is a world wide access it is an electronic resource for digital images and description about the species this resource will give digital images and description about the species it was developed by natural history museum london taxonomical tools are used to support the taxonomical studies and classification this is the end of unit 1 biozoology